undocumented immigrants in the Chicago area with some arrests yesterday in what's being called a human smuggling ring. Some of the illegal immigrants are still being detained tonight while others were let go. ABC 7's Teresa Gutierrez joining us live in the newsroom with more today. Teresa? Well, Cheryl, agents assigned to the Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement Human Trafficking Unit deal primarily with the smuggling and transporting of undocumented foreign nationals. Yesterday, special agents took 21 undocumented immigrants into custody. Five people were released to the Mexican consulate last night because they had children. The consulate put them on buses to their intended destinations. The question is, why were they not all detained? We have to really conserve our detention space to house criminals and those who really threaten the public safety. Um, and we really don't have anywhere to house a family as a unit. What if they don't show up? Well, if they don't show up, they will be ordered deported in absentia and they become absconders or fugitives. They were found in a green Ford pickup truck bearing Arizona license plates at the O'Hare Oasis. Agents say the truck had a camper shell with darkened windows and appeared to be riding as if carrying a heavy load. ICE is investigating and targeting criminal uh, smuggling networks that thrive on profit and greed. Um, and we are going to continue aggressively investigating um, these networks. Anyone who's in the country illegally um, is subject to deportation. These are knee-jerk reactions to the current immigration debate. And instead of punishing these people, they should wait or do a moratorium on those deportations until we have a solution from the Senate. Today, the driver of the vehicle, Mario Mendez Rueda, appeared in federal court. He admitted to being paid between twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for transporting twenty undocumented foreign nationals to various places from Colorado to Florida, including the Chicago area. Nineteen were from Mexico, one from Guatemala. The smuggling networks that operate in this country generate an estimated ten billion dollars in profits annually. It's just staggering, and they treat their um, their passengers as human cargo. If convicted, Reva could face up to 10 years in prison and fined up to $250,000. His attorney asked the court not to deport the individuals that were taken into custody because they will be needed as witnesses. Montenegro says that all the individuals arrested yesterday will eventually be deported. Some may be forced to leave as early as a Saturday. Reporting from the newsroom, Therese Gutierrez, ABC 7 News. Ron, back to you. Thank you, Therese.